Okay, let's go. Am I recording now? I'm hoping that does, doesn't have an echo this time. I really don't have much time to um, to record today. I'm going to look at these settings and make sure that there's no echo or reverb next time. We'll get it right. Just, yeah, had a few issues with technology. All right, so I apologize for the audio this week. I'll get, a, I'll get all over it. I'm going to buy a new phone when I get back from overseas. I just don't need that expense right now i'm about to go on a holiday <laughs> so it's like i don't know new phones like fifteen hundred dollars so yeah i'll wait until i come back from the holidays so we'll just deal with it okay unless people want to donate money in my paypal the links are in the description box then i'll buy a new phone and then you won't have to deal with any audio problems but <laughs> i don't know if that will happen anyway um yeah, donations would be well accepted now because I have to get new audio. All right, so um, let's find out what's happening with you, Virgo. This is the Virgo reading. Okay, so we have a zebra. So I feel like, Virgo, you're in the energy of the zebra because I feel like you have the X factor. You're someone very creative and someone very talented, and I feel like you're very creatively talented and you're um, kind of on display right now and you're showing your creative talents. So you have this kind of X factor energy. People think you're super talented, super creative. And I feel like you're being perceived as very talented and creative right now by others. Um, I feel like with Geo the Slow, I feel like you feel like there's a connection in your life and someone has been really slow to recognize your value, how talented you are, how creative you are. And we have unity. So I feel like you're single, you're available. And I feel like you are very, very gifted, very creative, very talented and are very special and unique. So this is like a David Bowie energy. So it's like someone who's, you know, very gifted at songwriting, someone who's very creative or whatever you do, your passions, your endeavors. And I feel like you kind of feel like people are really slow to see, you know, how awesome a person you are, how talented you are, how creative you are. Because I feel like you still don't have a husband in your life. I feel like this is a divine feminine who's like, I'm an awesome catch. Why am I not married? Why do I not have a husband? Why am I still on the single train? So I feel like your spirit guides are coming in to tell you that people have just been really slow to recognize how amazing a person you are. And it's not you. It's just society. It's just them. And I feel like you're like, why am I still in the single train? I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to be committed. And I feel like you might be connected to a masculine energy who's just really slow to recognize how amazing a person you are. So I feel like you're just a very, very unique individual. And I feel like your talents are sometimes often overlooked by people because society doesn't train us to, to recognize... Um, Someone with the kind of gifts and abilities that you have. So there's two cards that want to come out here. So we'll see what masculine energy is. Okay, cool. Well, I didn't mean to choose three cards, but I feel like this divine masculine is actually an aura of you with the spirit animal of the deer. It's like a deer in headlights energy. And I feel like he might have been in a very toxic lower vibration and he might be wanting to work really hard and ascend because I feel like he's actually recognizing your value and how amazing you are I don't know what you're doing over here but I feel like you have like a creative project or some kind of creative talent and I feel like it's 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 making this masculine energy wake up he's in awe of whatever it is you're creating and it's inspiring him to chase after you at speed and ascend so I feel like this is divine masculine who may have previously been in a lower vibration with you and yeah he wants to ascend and he wants to put in the effort and he wants to work towards um, approaching you because he's actually recognizing how amazing you are as a person so that's a really positive message to come through so let's see what else this divine masculine has to say to you virgo wow see all the energy of being in awe of you so i feel like this is divine masculine who is in awe of you we have the gotcha's energy He's amazed by you. Whatever it is you're creating, whatever it is you're doing over on your side of the, the street, it's really put him in his feelings. Like, I feel like it's a divine masculine who might be quite quite proud of you, but he has really strong feelings and he's in awe of you. So I feel like it's um, yeah, it's a divine masculine who's thinking how amazing and gifted and creative and talented you are, and he's really in awe of whatever it is you're creating and building over here. 
and he is really in his feelings right now and I think it's really inspired him to put in the hard work to ascend, to heal, to match your energy, to match your vibration. So we have two cards that symbolize the same thing. He's in awe, he's in like complete disbelief that, you know, a person like you exists because he thinks you're amazing. So you have someone over here who's in admiration of you and it's really put him in his feelings, divine feminine. So that's the first message here. Let's find out what the connective energy is between you guys. The connective energy is the sea serpent. So you guys are both very gifted. You're both in your intuition. You're both divinely protected through your intuition. So you both have really strong gut instincts and things. So I feel like um, you both know that this divine feminine is kind of teasing the, the divine masculine from afar with her <laughs> with her talents, her abilities. So I feel like this divine feminine is kind of like, you know, showcasing her abilities, showcasing her gifts, showcasing her creativity and kind of like teasing the divine masculine. I think because he's been moving quite slowly to commit to her, she's kind of like just doing her thing, just just being herself and showing her value. And it's kind of like teasing this masculine. You could have been with me. You could have tagged along with me. You could have, you know, been collaborating with me. We could have been creating things together. So that is the situation over here. So let's find out what is causing this divine masculine to be so in awe of you, divine feminine. We have the Indy. And we have. So I feel like this divine masculine has been a little bit insecure and a little bit intimidated by you. And I feel like with the Pook's energy, he wants to resolve things with you. But I feel like he just hasn't had the confidence or the courage. Why is he not confident when it comes to you? I feel like he wants a new beginning and he wants to take what wasn't working from the connection in the past and ask for a second chance and start a new chapter. So I think this divine masculine um, just gets quite insecure and nervous around you because you're an amazing person and you're very of a very high caliber divine feminine. And I just think he, he wasn't confident around you. So I feel like he gets like a little bit nervous and shy around you because he's in awe of you. So let's find out. Um, what action does this Divine Master want to take towards you, Divine Feminine? We have the Giselle. So I feel like right now he's sitting back and watching you. He's, I feel like you're on display in some way and he's watching you. And I feel like he wants to ask you for a new beginning with the Maiden's energy that's pure. And he has pure intentions and he's quite innocent and sweet on you and I think he wants to take this relationship to the next level with guardian of the gate he's just working on his courage towards approaching you because you're super awesome and he's in awe of you so he's a little bit intimidated by you what you're creating over here and your energy and he's moving quite slowly because he's gaining his courage I just don't think this masculine feels is enough I feel like he's got some confidence issues some insecurities that he has to work through before he'll be ready to approach you and ask you to be his girl so I feel like he wants that he wants a new beginning, a second chance. He wants to take things to the next level. So why is this divine masculine so insecure? What's wrong with his um, competence? Okay, there's a demon. And we have Queen of the Earth. So I think this divine masculine has dealt with some demonic feminine energies in the past. So he's had relationships with women who have been possessed by demonic forces and they've been quite toxic and I think it's made him quite traumatized. So as you can see, there's a demon on this card and I think this divine masculine was dealing with women who've been possessed in the past. So I think he's had significant relationships with really toxic women who have been very, very dark, very, very possessed and very, very demonic and so what has that done to his confidence? So I'm getting like narcissistic energies, um, you know, like narcissistic kind of women, toxic women, clarify wisdom. I just don't think he's been with anyone as beautiful as you. I feel like you're like a guiding light in this divine masculine's life. I feel like you give great advice. Um, 
you're very nurturing you're very compassionate with the queen of waters energy very intuitive so i just feel like this masculine um has not been operating in um confident energy because i think he's just been dealing with some very toxic feminine energies and i feel like he's got a lot of trauma from that demonic kind of experience so there's been some Feminine energies have been very dark that he's dated or he's been with have been quite narcissistic, quite toxic. And he has this trauma that all women are the same. And I think he kind of gets this energy that like you're too good to be true because, um, you know, when you date a narcissist, they come across with that love bombing energy in the beginning of the relationship. So I just think he's got a fear that you're too good to be true and this toxic demonic in <laughs> energy will come out if he opens up and trusts you, because I think that's what his past experiences have been. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now. If you're resonating with the message, um, Virgo, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually, or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps you on YouTube full time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, Virgo.